What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here and just unboxed uh, something. We're going to take a look at it together. As you can see, it's from Klein Watches. And uh, I think what I ordered here is uh, called the President Watch. So check it out. We're going we're gonna to check this out. It comes in like this black gift bag. And as you can see, I can't see it yet. So I thought I'd share the love with you as we kind of take a look at it together. First of all, it comes with a little paperwork. It says... Hey friends, uh, thank you for buying it. Looks like it's actually signed by the uh, CEO of the company. That's kind of cool. Uh, looks like there's a handout here on how to share my Klein watch on Insti. So definitely do that too. Uh, you can go to Klein watches and pick it up. Now, if you Google Klein watches, I think you'll get a lot of and Klein, but that's not that's not the same thing. So comes in this cool black bag. I mean, the presentation is pretty. I mean, pretty over the top so far. And then it has uh, black paper around it. Now, um, I will tell you that I'm not going to give this watch away in this video, but the watch is going to be given away. And I think you know how we're going to do that. It's going to be a big giveaway of a lot of stuff in the future. So uh, stay tuned for that. So uh, just because I'm not going to give this away here in this video, uh, there are going to be instructions on how to win this. Even if I fall in love with the watch while we look at it here, I'm just going to make that commitment. So first of all, you get it, uh, it looks like a plastic sleeve. You get this kind of marbleized paper box. Looks like there's a tab here. And yeah, just in the K. Kind of reminds me of Shinola a little bit. I guess I'm going to slide this off. Sleeve here. And then we have this. And I'm assuming, oh. Maybe, oh, you kind of use the tab to pull them apart. A lot of suction in there. And then, oops. Klein watches, so you get a little paperwork here, some information. I think that's a picture of the watch. And then you get your warranty and card. Looks like we get a little microfiber cloth in here. Ooh, and there it is. And I ordered it in blue because I, I've told you before, blue is my favorite color. And I thought we would take a look at their President watch in blue. Why not, right? Now they do have a couple of different styles of watches and I was pretty intrigued with them. This may not be my last Klein. I might try to get the other one because I will tell you that uh, the price is right on them. You know, you, you know, right now they're on sale for like 50 euros. Everything's priced in euros as a European company. But uh, even full retail, I think it's 130 euros. So you're looking at about $160, you know, depending on when you convert it. So first of all, let's go ahead and just kind of take a look. You get the little Klein tag on the end there. You also have a uh, stainless steel buckle, polished. Pretty nice. That. Uh, we have like an alligator texture band. Genuine leather. And it is in kind of a, oh, a, a royal blue. That's nice. And it's padded, as you can see. Kind of raised in the middle, side stitched. And it does taper a little bit. Uh, I don't know if the band says how wide it is, but my guess is probably, oh, 20 millimeters, 19 millimeters maybe, and then tapers a little bit to like 18, 17 millimeters. You have a couple of straps here. One of these are, that is free floating, but I like... You know, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of alligator, uh, but I do like it when it kind of looks like it, right? I mean, the big, the pattern, kind of the, the um, you know, the the dark and the lights kind of show it off, right? I mean, a lot of it is sometimes black, and a lot of them are kind of like the patent leather, and sometimes they're a little hard to see. So, um, I do like that it's kind of bold and in your face, and I love blue. We have a stainless steel case here, 40 millimeters wide and just a smidge under 10 millimeters deep. I think like nine and a half millimeters deep. So you do have a, a polished, it's nice that they include this microfiber cloth here because I'm going to be using it so I don't show you my fingerprints. Oh yeah, look at that. All right. Uh, so you do have a polished stainless steel case. That seems to be pretty nice. Um, See if I can zoom it there for you. As you can see, you know, um, just a little bit of waviness in the finish. Kind of standard lugs. Um, the watch is pretty light, that's for sure, right? It's not overly heavy. 40 millimeters is not an overly big watch. 
a pressed on back here and looks like sandblasted with the Klein K and I do like the fact that they put the battery number on the back so when it does go out you can you can replace that and order the battery preemptively on this side you have again nice polishing uh, you have chronograph pushers right here and one of the problems is that the watch isn't running because I've got the little spacer in there you do have a crown right here and if we take a look at that crown it's not blue on the crown it's just a protective filament so you can see here it's got a nice polished crown um, you know the pushers are polished because I don't have the protection on them they've got a little wear there but the knurling and then it's a it's a quartz movement chronograph movement no screw down crown or anything so if I push it in there now we should get it running so what I figured out is it's not actually like a chronograph I actually had to go to the manual here and what it shows you is that <laughs> it's like the uh, controls the week indicator and the month indicator as listed as chronos but it's not so let me quick show you kind of what it does here so you, you have on this side the week indicator w e e k not e a k and then over here you have the month indicator so you can tell the time and the date by the little date window there i'll show you that in a second but you set the week indicator here which i actually think it's day of the week is the is the, would be the correct term so you have these little hash marks are like one through seven and so you ad advance that by hitting this top pusher here like that okay so that'll tell you the day of the week right Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday or Domingo Miracles Sabado you know Viernes all those um, over here you have obviously a 1 through 12 and that is for the month January February March you know Enero Febrero etc and you advance that with the bottom here so you know if I've danced it now from four to five or five to six so now you would know June so it's kind of interesting because you have basically a chronograph look uh, and you would think that these are like second splits or something like that but they're not and in fact the the timing hand is really just a seconds hand as you can see there it's just ticking away uh, keeping track of the seconds now uh, a couple of the other features here before we go into everything else so you have a date window down here at the 430 position and interestingly on it uh, oops, knocking everything around, is that there is a little bit of a magnifier, as you can see, where they punch out the window for it. So when you look straight at it, it it's, it's definitely magnified. Now, a couple things that I noticed is that they said there's two positions on the crown, one and two. And so if I pull it all the way out here, you can see I can adjust the time, right? No problem. And the, the first position is for adjusting the date. So you have to be a little ginger with it. And now if I get it there and rotate it counterclockwise, you can see me being able to adjust the date, right? Okay, so keep that in mind. That's you got to be kind of careful about where you're getting it to. Now, the other thing I want to show you is what the dial looks like, right? We've got that, you know, kind of iridescent blue. The uh, subdials are sunk in there just a little bit. You know, everything. You know, the only color they have is really uh, these polished hour markers, the polished hands, um, the the hands themselves, the hour and minute hands are nice and. Uh, broad in, in silver but uh, just straight and it looks like we have some loom there it looks like there's only loom on the hands which is going to be just fine but uh, that's kind of nice that they're loomed up as well you know so you have these silver and, and as you can see the silver markers there are applied you have kind of double markers at your um, four points of the compass uh, north south east west and you also have you know minute markings all around that outer chapter ring which is pretty cool now the thing is and I'll stay zoomed in here see if we can focus in there you do have a little moon phase indicator down there so you, you not only have day of the week uh, month of the year time date uh, and but you also have this moon phase which is kind of interesting and so you can tell a.m. p.m. now right now Obviously, as you can see, the, the watch says 11.10, and you would know that's 11.10 p.m. because we're showing moons there. Now, if I roll it forward, you can see 
it's rolling forward half as fast as the hour hands right it's kind of like a GMT hand and if we go keep going there we go we get the Sun coming up right so now let's go all the way to noon and you can see there it's saying noon with the Sun so you you would know that's the day so it's pretty clever I, I'm actually impressed with that because you know it's a lot of things you don't get moon phases on a lot I don't really have very many of them but it's just kind of a, a cool thing that I, I, I really honestly did not expect on this watch now like I said you can go on the Klein site pick this watch up for about 50 euros 60 60 dollars you know it's it's kind of a lot of features on this quartz watch you know the construction is is pretty nice you know it looks good I think you know you throw this on your wrist and pardon my sunburn um, but you know it's pretty stylish and if you don't like a big big watch 40 millimeters fits a lot of wrists right I mean that's that's uh it looks pretty nice and you know I think it's probably a little over a centimeter thick um, but you know it's just got a lot of style and I love having the blue man I got the blues and pretty impressive especially as you can see there so we kind of dance in the light you can see that AR coating which I think is is huge huge so you get a lot of that classic style you get a chronograph style without a true chronograph essentially but it does give you a lot of working sub dials and complications that are generally pretty useful so I'm pretty impressed with that now um, inexpensive so kind of expect that but uh, go online I'll put a link to Klein watches in the description uh, if you want to pick one up they also have another version uh, which kind of looks more like the Ublo Sport watch. I'm, I'm pretty interested in that. I might uh, spend a couple bucks and try to get that because you kind of can't go wrong at at fifty, sixty dollars, right? I mean, you're at a, at, at sub a hundred dollars US. You know, you could get you can get watches that have fake complications that are just going to fall apart. Um, you know, smaller, lighter. Keep that in mind. But you know, a pretty nice looking watch. I think at the price point this is a this is a fair deal this is a good watch at this price point so kind of keep that in mind and they certainly do a nice job on the presentation with all this stuff here so uh you do they, they obviously care a little bit so that's pretty cool now as i said you know keep watching this watch is going to end up being on the wrist of one of you pan dudes or pandettes out there in the panda nation uh because uh, we'll show you how to win the big giveaway later this summer there it is the klein watches president model in blue peter von panda out